Zoe Washington is a fashion editor who's worked with Elle, Vogue, Essence, InStyle, and now she's the founder of the DIY fashion brand So Squad. She joins us now from her home in Baltimore, Maryland. Hey, Zoe, so good to have you on. I love this. You've been really ahead of the curve here. I, I mentioned, <laughs> I love your flavor. I mentioned that sewing machines, you can't find them anymore. People are selling out everywhere. Folks are calling their moms and aunts asking, do you still have that sewing machine in the basement? Uh, you created Sew Squad and it's grown in popularity, but you did this several years ago. Yes, we did. We started Sew Squad really because there were so many young people who were obsessed with crafting and DIY, but wanted to make their own fashion, really wanted to get their hand involved in style. So we decided to fill in that gap where I saw that gap when I was a teenager. There was just nothing on the market that really spoke to me in my young teens and early 20s that was DIY but fashion focused. Are you surprised by how popular, especially your, your brand and all of this is right now? You know what? I'm not. I've been waiting for this day of reckoning for a while because <laughs> I have been in the fashion industry for, for a while now. And I just know there's so much creative talent, especially like the younger generation who's really getting involved with crafting their own look um, and, and setting the trends rather, rather than just following them. Okay, so I I'm, love that. You said the day of reckoning. Everybody with a sewing machine is like, finally, we told you. We told you. Well, you know, when, when I was growing up, some people would learn how to sew uh, from a relative, a grandma, or it really, really back in the day, they used to have a class called Home Ec Kids, and people would go to the Home Ec class to learn to sew. Now these YouTube videos um, really just break it all down step by step. You're on your own schedule. You get the video, and you go at it. Exactly, exactly. And you know, my grandmother back in the day, she, before Nike, was like, just do it. You know, just go into your closet and get something and reimagine it. Get something and, you know, sewing doesn't have to be as overwhelming or as daunting as even purchasing a machine. Sometimes it's really just about picking up a needle and thread and taking something that you're done with and you're tired with, deconstructing it, reimagining it, um, you know, turning a, a button down into a tote. Right. Or, tote into a skirt. You know, it can be that simple. So Zoe, what is the fabric fake out? So fabric fake outs are a really easy iron on heat transfer paper that we have created and designed um, with trendy prints so that you can kind of upcycle any old thing in your closet and make it look really fabulous and creative. So these fabric, th these patterns you've created, they're basically iron on, but they're very yeah. chic. They're not like the iron ons from back in the day. These are cool looking. Exactly, exactly. And it's really designed to just up, upgrade and elevate okay. items. So we have a hold on because I want to introduce our TAM fam member who's joining us in, Jessica from Baltimore, joining in on the phone because I don't like to do anything alone, especially something new. <laughs> Jessica, you actually follow So Squad and you've created some of the uh, upcycling outfits. And oh, that's cute. Yeah. Done um, a couple denim shirts, a tote bag here and there, and I'm excited to branch out and do more with the, the new patterns that are coming okay, out. Okay, Zoe, time. with your fans in the house. All right, so I've got a cute, um, this is very cute. It's a floral print. They've given me a pink skirt. How I would upcycle this skirt is that I would put a little of that as a border on the side. So you get a little surprise when you turn to the side. So that's my idea. So how do we take me through this? I love it. So what we're going to do is kind of elevate an old camp shirt that we got from Goodwill for just like $5. You know, I call it the middle management model because it's that short sleeve button down shirt that you see in everybody's closet. Someone always has one. Um, what what gonna... tends to be your inspiration, Zoe? Because I, I see a lot of florals. I, I, love, I love a good Hawaii vibe. I love runway. I'm, this right now is all about new, new Prada, Jacquemus, that kind of vibe that they've been giving out all summer long that's going well into fall. Um, so florals and, and prints and patterns, but kind of clashy, which is very exciting. Which is, again, that goes back to your, you have this high-end background, this high-end fashion background. So you're bringing in, because one of the things I don't like to do is when we show fashion and someone's like, I would never wear that with Tamron Hall, really. I like to show and bring you things that I would actually wear, things I'd actually do. Do. And I would actually, I, I love the word actually today, I would actually do this because it does have that high fashion feel. So you've got your shirt there. Yeah, so we've got our shirt here. And what you'll do, all you'll need is an iron. So I have a dry iron, which I think is the best to use, but okay. any iron, a pair of scissors, mine yeah. are gold. Those are beautiful. Um, and your fabric fake out. 
cloth and of course a towel and you'll want the towel to put underneath your garment right. and that's to protect your surface okay. from any or anything like that. All right, that. Jessica, let me see what you have there. You finished yours. Yeah, I started, um, I did a big strip across the top of my, my shirt here. Oh, that's nice. I adding some other details. And well. it doesn't look, it doesn't look all iron on -y, if that's not even a word I just made up. It, it looks like it's a part of the shirt. Yeah, I totally wear this tucked into like okay. high waisted jeans. All right, and just real quick, because I have these mannequins here. Um, Zoe, these are other fashions um, from your Sew Squad. Yes, those are from Sew Squad. Those are our simple sewing patterns, um, which is really the, the base of what we started with a couple of years ago, where a lot of people really gravitated to our kind of zine inspired approach. Yeah. I love sewing. this. This denim from your uh, pattern is awesome as well. Well, congratulations on the success. I love when someone is a forward thinker and the rest of the crowd has to follow you. Jessica, thank you too. That's a cute shirt. Thank you both for joining us today.